What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. So I just uh, watched uh, Rachel Review Tech USA uh, video about the next thing that's going on with Xbox Game Pass and uh, basically how they're going to kind of cut sales um, for GameStop, you know, physical games, I guess. I guess that's what Rich was saying. Let me first, before I go into my video, let me first say this. All of my games, and I mean every last game that I have bought, whether it's on the Xbox or on the PlayStation, is all digital. I'm not going to GameStop for nothing, not even a controller, not a headset or anything. When it comes to that there, accessories and all, I go to eBay, which is cheaper, much cheaper. I bought a brand new controller, uh, um, a, a Woodlawn, Woodlawn camouflage controller for $47 on eBay. Guess how much it was at GameStop? Almost $70. Same kind of controller. Brand new controller, eBay, 47 GameStop, almost $70. You know what I'm saying? So, I just saved in there $25 shopping on eBay. When it comes to physical games, which I don't have, but I looked on there. When it comes to physical games, brand new games are cheaper at eBay than it is at GameStop. So there is no reason at all for me to go to GameStop for anything anymore. And now that I hear about this right here, I was I'm a person that was kind of critical of Xbox. When I bought my Xbox One Slim and I said I didn't I, I wasn't using it and it was looking all pretty and all nice and everything like that and I sold it I basically didn't sell it to GameStop I sold it on the Facebook marketplace it was either Facebook marketplace or let go I'm not going to GameStop for nothing selling buying anything from GameStop I'm done with them for life plus like I said all my games right now are digital and there are more sales in the PlayStation Store. Like every other week you find sales for those games, you know, for games in the PlayStation Store. Like every other week. Seriously. So I'm all digital. When it comes to games, I'm all digital. That's just how it's going to be. All right, let me get to this video here because it's already been three minutes. I'm going to read on and then just talk about it a little bit and then it'll be done. Microsoft Xbox One exclusives to now release on, ga on Game Pass at launch. See of these, State of Decay 2 and Crackdown 3. Now, let me tell you, I mean, that's okay. I might play Crackdown 3. That's about it. But, you know, Microsoft, y'all can do a little bit better than that. You know, hopefully, later on down the line, Microsoft have some better, you know, games than that. But this is a start. It's a good start. It's a start, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say a good start, but it's, it's a start. Um, Microsoft has announced it, it is expanding Xbox Game Pass and will start releasing first-party Xbox One exclusives through the subscription service. Xbox Game Pass will launch, was launched last year and offers players unlimited download access to more than 100 Xbox One games for a monthly cost, which is $10 a month. Now it seems the service will be a cornerstone of Xbox distribution plans going forward. Um, and that's wonderful. That's, that's, that's great. Let me talk about, for a minute, let me talk about the Xbox Game Pass compared to the PlayStation Now. I have said this over and over and over again. Right now, I have a PlayStation, right? And I hate PS Now. I have said this over and over. I'm, I'm not really not going to really repeat it, but I'm just going to tell you like this. Don't even bother. Don't even try. Don't even do the free trial of, of PlayStation Now. You are going to be so disappointed. I'm not. I don't care. 
you know, Sony could do what Microsoft is doing when it comes to this Game Pass thing and download the games. Download the games, you know what I'm saying? But it also depends on what kind of internet you have, too. But even if you have good internet, still, PlayStation Now sucks. It is horrible. It is awful. And it's nothing like this here, what Microsoft is about to do. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about getting an Xbox on one Slim and keeping my PlayStation for life. I'm going to keep both systems for life. I'm really thinking, I'm really, really thinking about doing that now. Seriously. Because of this right here. This is big. This is big right here. I had the I had the Xbox Slim and I I know I didn't play it. There was only a couple, but now since they got this here and they may be doing with future um, titles down the line, you know what I'm saying? Day one, you know, exclusives for the Xbox One. Day one, you get to play those games. Oh my God, that is huge! That is huge. So I'm thinking about getting the Xbox One and just keeping it. And just keeping it. Just keeping both systems. I'm thinking about doing it. I'll, matter of fact, I probably will do it. And just keeping it. Seriously. Uh, okay, so let's just uh, move on here. The first major game to be released on Xbox Game Pass the same day as its regular release will be Sea of Thieves. Uh, the much anticipated open world pirate game exclusive to Xbox One and PC. When it becomes available for purchase... In a traditional fashion, on March 20th, Game Pass subscri subscribers will get access on Xbox One. While they don't have the set release dates, both yet both uh, State of Decay 2 and Crackdown 3 will be mentioned as other Xbox game Xbox One exclusives that will be coming to Xbox Game Pass at release. All games will be uh, still available for purchase normally. So it's basically going to be like this. You may be able to play the game for, I don't know, maybe a month or something like that or whatever. And then, you know, they switch the games up every month. Something like that. So, it's not a game that, you know, you're going to be uh, be able to play over and over and over again. It's going to be like a limited time for you to play these exclusives. You know what I'm saying? You still might have, if you like the game and you want to keep the game, you could purchase it normally. I guess that's what they're basically saying. Okay. Uh, let me see. How long is this thing here? This is too much to read. So you can go here and read the rest for yourself. But this is big news right here. And uh, let me tell you something. I'm I'm thinking about. See, next month I was going to get the the I was going to get a TiVo Romeo and I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I was going to get like. Eh. Eh, anyway, I ain't gonna talk about that. Uh the Steve Romeo, you know, that you know, it, it, it cost and I don't know, I I ain't gonna get that now. I ain't gonna get it. Cause I can't get the Xbox One thing and the T Romeo and you know, trying to do because I got too much stuff here. I got too many boxes as it is. I got my Amazon, I got my Roku, I got PlayStation, I got, man, I got so many stuff here. So I think I'm going to just get the Xbox One S again instead of TiVo Romeo so I can say, you know, yeah, I got just too much stuff. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to jump into it. And if you are going to, you know, jump into this thing too, it is required, it's not optional, it's really required to get at least a one terabyte external hard drive. You're going to need that because these games are huge. We're talking 50, 60, even some, some of them maybe even 70 gigabytes. So definitely get an external hard drive. So I'm going to need another one of them. So I'm going to just do it, whatever. All right, y'all. This is the Bear and I'm out. Peace.